for the sign of Scorpio. Hello and welcome to my channel. Wow, we got new love. This card it reads, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Now, this is very powerful. It's relating to love, happiness, and affection. Like, it's like um, a new beginning. Although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. So, things are looking up in January. Yeah, things are looking really good. People will be responding to you with love, happiness, goodwill, more than usually coming up for January 2021. So you'll be feeling good about life overall. It's going to be a great time to make friends. Yeah, so like I said, this card says new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So this would be regarding, well, maybe an existing relationship is going to take a turn for the better. If it's an existing relationship already, this could be a deeper level of understanding or commitment or almost or almost any important aspect of a relationship. So it's going to feel like a new encouraging start. And if you're single and uncommitted, a new relationship is likely to appear soon. So that's what we got for January. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for February. Well, this card, it reads Voodoo in Blue. It says back off on the card. Like I said, put your camera into focus. Put it in full screen. That way you can see the text. Yeah, this card says back off for February. Well, back off. It could mean that your confidence is starting to soar in the month of February, making it a great time to change your look or to market yourself towards a new project, a new job, maybe an interview. However, the emotional influence of the moon is in your sign, so you're more likely to be sensitive to criticism coming up in February. But understand that the only person who truly needs to approve of you is you. So you might find yourself telling others to back off this month. So try not to let your feelings get the best of you. Stay grounded in your decisions and you'll definitely continue to shine. So that's for February. Now, let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for March 2021. Well, we got Sea Storm. It says, Calm Amid Chaos. So, this can actually indicate some type of metaphorical movement. Maybe a change in where you are inwardly. Usually, the change is for the better. Whether it's internal or external. It's about thinking where you want to be. There is going to be a slight reduction in stress and strain. So things may not be, they may not be perfect, not yet, but they're going to be better than they may have been in the recent past. So this would actually be the time that you take to get your head above, above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or a change of scenery is going to be helpful for you coming up in March. Now, just keep in mind, this does not have to cost money. Yeah, so you could be coming out of stormy waters with someone. Yeah, so you will be moving into calmer waters. Maybe you're not at peace with someone. It's, it's showing that you'll be making peace with someone. Yeah, that you have been in stormy, raging waters with. So that's what we got coming up for March 2021. So we move on over to April. 
So April, we got the number 33 that came out for you. Where this lady, she's got on a hat. She's in all black. She's wearing a cross around her neck. And she's got a, her head down. It's a really pretty card in the deck. It indicates that things will be feeling just right for you coming up in April. So, there's a very Scorpio energy in the air in April. And you'll find that you happen to be at the right place at the right time. Yeah, in April you're going to be at the right place at the right time. In fact, you might even have a pleasant financial surprise. Your natural talents and personal beliefs, they'll be uniquely necessary now, and others will appreciate how you're able to provide for yourself and others with relative ease, class, and stability. It's going to be a great month to enjoy. So that's for April. Yeah, you'll be shining in April. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what May has to bring you. Well, we got this card. It's a blue, the blue card. It looks bluish green. It's got a full moon there. It's a really pretty card. It reads, my outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. And that's for the month of May. Now, basically, you could find yourself feeling rather inspired and more hopeful about the future than you have in a while coming up in May 2021. You'll also feel more confident that your needs, they're being met. It could be both emotional, it could be financial, or like I said, it could be both. Just know nothing can be taken for granted, of course, but it's going to be unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. So this card can also be a spiritual card. Well, where you'll find yourself feeling at least for a time at one with all of creation. It's not a common feeling, so you want to make sure to savor it. Yeah, this pretty card with the full moon there, it's about feeling rejuvenated, hopeful, having a lot of faith. Any grief that you had about the past, it's released. So month, so the month of May 2021 is going to be a probably a reflective time for you where you just feel rejuvenated and hopeful. So let's move on over to June. 2021. Yeah, so I shuffled the deck of cards that I had for the zodiac signs. And the energy that fell out for you was Libra. So I'm picking up that you're going to have the energy of a Libra. There's the sign of Libra coming up for June 2021. For some of you, you're dealing with a Libra, and that's why this card popped out for you. So, in June 2021, you might be itching for a change of scenery. You will not want to be cooped up in the house coming up in June. So, you might try to find time to get out the house or the office and breathe in the beauty of nature. This sign, it actually thrives in beautiful domestic environments as well. So if, you're, if your home is overly messy or cluttered this month of June 2021, you might want to make an effort to tidy up and add some lovely, lovely touches. Artistic and spiritual concepts will engage your mind in unique ways in June 2021, and you'll be open to learning and seeing things from a different perspective. So that's what we got for the first half.
of 2021 for you, Scorpio. So let's move on down to the bottom. The bottom half, the next, the last six months of 2021. So for July, we got action. Now this is, this is very interesting. I don't know if you can see the details of this card, but this lady, she looks like she's twirling in like a ballerina dress. And she could have a wand in her hand. So this card, it actually signifies new beginnings, great expectations. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives. And in so many other areas of the world, if we simply try. Just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate. But you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. Because the magician is actually all about action. And if you do nothing, you'll have nothing or you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something. Because anything is going to be better than nothing coming up in July. Yeah, in other words, if you don't try, you won't get. Now, I say magician because it looks like she has a wand, a wand in her hand. Yeah, so coming up in July, you'll have manifestation powers. You're going to be able to create, create a lot of things for yourself that you never thought possible. But it's remember, it's all about action. And that's what this card reads. Yeah, at the bottom it says action. And that's the waxing gibbous moon. Very pretty card. So yeah, Scorpio, don't forget July is when a lot of things that you can make happen for yourself. You have manifestation powers coming up in the month of July 2021. So don't just sit at home, don't just sit at home doing nothing. Put things into action. Because they will happen for you. So we move on over to August. And this card, it reads, it's time to be brave. Yeah, so coming up August 2021, it's indicating competition. So this could be work, career. It could be some other type of competition. Maybe... Competition with friends, family, maybe you're a person of interest, but you have to know, don't be afraid of competing. Just know that you have something to offer. You can be successful, but you're going to have to try just to see results. Now, when this card appears, your need to believe in yourself is going to have to be stronger than ever. So make sure you hold, up, hold your head up high in August 2021. Have faith that you'll end up in a place that's right for you. You could also be thinking of making a career change around August. Just know that you can be successful if so. So yeah, the need to believe in yourself is going to have to be stronger than ever in August. Hold your head up high, Scorpios. So let's move on over and see what's coming up for September. Now we have Eclipse. It says a powerful energy shift. That's what the words read at the bottom. Now with this card, it can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon. It's tied to femininity and inspiration. So it's going to be a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. It's also important that you pay attention to any dreams that you have coming up in September 2021. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it's going to be a really, really good idea. Yeah, this could actually be a magical, mystical time for you, Scorpio, for the month of September 21. If you're a woman, you could find people literally throwing themselves at you. Now, the problem is that you'll attract all kinds, the good, the bad, the ugly, and it's not going to be 
always easy to tell which is which. So you'll have a power of femininity at your disposal. Use it wisely or, or it could actually backfire on you. Yes, yeah, so in September, you'll be sitting pretty. Really pretty. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what we got coming up for October 2021. Well, we have a number one card. Like I said, you might have to put your your camera, put it on full screen for you to see the details of this card. But there's a lady, she's, she's on her back swimming in the water. Yeah, it's a very interesting picture. It could be the type of month that you want to curl up, read a good book, or maybe take a deep dive or swim with just, your, just yourself. You might feel like doing these things, something like this, all throughout the month of October. Either way, while your energy, it may not be as high as normal, your intuition will be elevated. And because you are more self-focused coming up in October, you could learn something that was hidden from you. So you want to write down any dreams that you have. Yeah, do that because this might reveal important information. Maybe about your innermost thoughts and feelings, or maybe about a situation. So that's what we have for November. Now we'll move on over, take a look at, now that's what we have for October. That's a number one card. So we move on over to November, and we have this um, card that says pray, or this lady She's actually kneeling down and she's praying. On the flip side of this card, it reads, I am open and receptive to the power of grace, to the power of God in my life now. I ask to be shown examples of how this energy is operating in my life. So, Scorpio, you could find November to be very spiritual. And if you're not the spiritual type, it's saying that you might want to give it a try. Yeah. I know some people are not spiritual. But it's saying give it a try. Pray. Um, get the Holy Bible. Read it. You might be pleasantly surprised. A lot of people don't even know that the Bible is in plain English these days. Yes, yeah, some people think it's still in Greek. But no. Very interesting book. Yeah, so it's saying that some of you might want to pick it up during the month of November. And seek out your spiritual side. Turn to God. Yeah, so that's what came out for November. Spirituality. Christianity. It's it's a pretty good move. It's probably one of the best cards. Well, it is one. It is the best card in your reading. So... I'm picking up that November is going to be a very, very wise and smart move for you. Yeah, that's the best card in this reading for you, Scorpio. Take the advice. Pray. Turn, out, turn your life over to spirituality. Turn your life over to God. Jesus is the answer. Anyway, let's... Move on, move on over. That was November. Now, we got December, which is the very end of 2021. And what came out was miracle. That's what it says at the bottom. Miracle. Well, this is actually one of the most uplifting cards that you can receive out of this deck. Uh, it points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. Yeah, it's a really good card to get. It speaks of happy family life, even if you're single. 
to the overall well-being that goes beyond you yourself to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, your siblings, your children, your pets, and much more. Like I said, here comes spirituality again. You can also be spiritually fulfilled. It's a part of the picture. So, for some of you, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be on a spiritual journey in November. And it's going to carry over to December. Which is going to fulfill your life in ways that you never thought possible. It's going to feel like all of your dreams are coming true. That's what this card, Miracle, is about. A lot of miracles are going to happen for you. But you have to carry over November. That spirituality and praying, you have to bring it on over to December and to the rest of your life. 